Welcome to Independent Ali. My name is Philip Ryan. I'm the Deputy Political Editor for Independent Newspapers. And I'm joined here today by Irish Independent Political Correspondent John Downey. John's going to talk us through a piece that he wrote in today's Irish Independent comparing and contrasting the leadership styles of Taoiseach Leo Radker and UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Just briefly before we get into the detail of it, give us a little bit of the background by, uh, of the two leaders. Well, Johnson is, the, is by far the older of the two. He's 55 to Leo Varadkar's 40. But that said, I would argue they're more or less even, Stephen, on political experience. Uh, the, uh, the Taoiseach, a uh, longer period in charge of government here, two years to Boris Johnson's five weeks, longer period, eight years in government to Boris Johnson's rather bad two, less than two years as UK foreign minister. Uh, that said, Boris kind of regained some ground because he was Mayor of London, very powerful job for eight years, was associated with the lo successful London Olympics also. Leo Radker is often branded as a Tory boy, uh, a criticism of his, his links are to maybe the Conservative Party, of which Boris Johnson leads, and the right-wing policies. Is it fair to, to make that comparison? Uh, well, there are similarities of background, education, posh education, Leo Radker's King's Hospital, and Trinity College Dublin compares in some ways with uh, Boris Johnson's elite Eton and Oxford uh, but uh, I would argue that uh, Leo Varadkar is far more idealistic and has far more integrity than Boris Johnson saying that I'm not trying to make Leo Varadkar into some kind of latter-day Podrick Pierce what I am pointing to is the cynicism of of Boris Johnson espousing Brexit against his own instincts and background, using it as a vehicle mm. to become Prime Minister and now strengthen his hold on that job. And finally, you, you actually have worked with Boris Johnson as a time as, a, as both of you as Brussels correspondents. Yes, in the early 90s, uh, we, we coincided in Brussels. Even then, he had charisma and was very well known across all the national EU delegations. As, as somebody who was really out there. He is a risk taker. He's, what he is engaged in right now is very high wire. I don't believe Leo Varadkar would take such uh, big political risks. Okay, thanks, John. That's all for now. Read more of John's analysis on independent.ie or in today's Irish Independent.